Google unveiled on Thursday a contact lens that monitors glucose levels in tears, a potential reprieve for millions of diabetics who have to jab their fingers to draw their own blood as many as 10 times a day. The prototype, which Google says will take at least five years to reach consumers, is one of several medical devices being designed by companies to make glucose monitoring for diabetic patients more convenient and less invasive than the traditional finger pricks. The lens is used a minuscule glucose sensor and a wireless transmitter to help those among the world's 382 million diabetics who need insulin keep a close watch on their blood sugar and adjust their dose. The contact lenses were developed during the past 18 months in the clandestine Google X lab that also came up with a driverless car, Google's web surfing eyeglasses and Project Loon, a network of large balloons designed to beam the Internet to unwired places. But research on the contact lenses began several years earlier at the University of Washington, where scientists worked under National Science Foundation funding. Until Thursday, when Google shared the project with the Associated Press, their work had been kept under wraps. You can take it to a certain level in an academic setting, but at Google we were given the latitude to invest in this project, said one of the lead researchers, Brian Oshies. The beautiful thing is we're leveraging all of the innovation in the semiconductor industry that was aimed at making cell phones smaller and more powerful. The lens that we built that measures the glucose level in tears using a tiny wireless chip and a miniaturized glucose sensor. This prototype looks and feels like a regular soft contact lens, but inside of it we have a tiny chip and a miniaturized glucose sensor that allows us to continually monitor tear glucose levels. We've had to work really hard to develop tiny low power electronics that operate on very low levels of, of energy and really small glucose sensors. I'm really excited about this technology because this could possibly give another, another way, another tool for people with diabetes to, to learn more about their blood glucose. We're still really early on. We're confident about how the technology is going so far, but there's a huge amount of work left to, to, to do. And so we're actively looking for partners to help us out with the next phases of the project.